Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Good morning. Good morning. Hope everybody's been doing great. We are back at it today. This is part two guys of clearing the driveway to dreamers landing. So we got the whole crew out here today. It's Friday so no school for the kiddos. And we have all the tools necessary for the job, guys. We are ready. Check this out. Got a couple of tripods for filming. We got the drone package out. We're going to get some cool drone shots today. We got three sets of loppers. The set for Serenity, Talon, Jacob, or maybe Lissa. We got the machete. I don't know who put it in the ground to dull up the blade. We got Ryder out here making sure we're doing a good job. I do have my chainsaw. We got plenty of gas. We got oil. And I got myself a new bar and chain for the chainsaw. And I don't even know if you guys know this, but I do have a 12-inch electric Ryobi chainsaw that Lissa used a lot in our Florida property. Uh, we do have two more cans of paint right here as well. So what our mission is today... To beat the rain. To beat the rain. That's our mission today, guys. <laughs> Serenity, you do not look thrilled. I am. You are? You didn't look too happy right there. You guys look like this was torture to be out here. Is it torture? No. Is it gloomy. torture, Talon? It's a gloomy day, though, too, you know. Everything's wet. Yeah. So, but it's not too bad out here. At least so it's exciting to get it done. It's not too muddy or anything. Check the ground out. You know, there is a little bit of mud, but... Not that muddy. Not that muddy. You gotta do a little bit. Even around the corner. So we're ready to get right to it, guys. Do you want to start off by doing a walk, a walkthrough? Yeah. Let's kids do it. Kids haven't walked down it yet. Let's do a walkthrough. Kids ain't even seen the end of it yet. Let's check it out, guys. All right, here we go. First walkthrough of the driveway to Dreamers Landing. And go. Entering the driveway. You guys already know, but Uncle David gone, that Ryder is going to take his spot on the adventures. So when you come in the driveway, we're going to come in and then we're going to make a left turn. Making this left turn. And to be honest, guys, I'm pretty sure we're going to, this cedar and these two trees are going to go. With this one being left alone, that way we can come in and make a nice big wide turn. What would you say about that tree right there? Correct. Uh, this tree right here is going to go. And so is one, two, and three probably. So this, up to this point, this is as most of you guys have seen of the driveway. Since it's been cleared anyway, we didn't do a, a walkthrough really after we were finished. Look at Serenity and Talon are way up there already. Yeah, look at all the rocks that came up out of the ground. Who would have... What? I'm going to be using these rocks. Right? <laughs> Who would have known that so many rocks were up here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Wow. From right here, baby, when you look straight ahead in the driveway, those two pines are so dominant. Like, yeah. they're really, really... They're, they're, <laughs> you see them, they're almost like two huge columns. That should be plenty of room to get this Well, for actually, to be honest, all these little guys are going to go. Yeah. Little guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All these little guys are going to go. And probably these big pine trees, one, two, right there, are going to stay. And this pine tree right here is also going to go because it's pretty rotten all the way to the top. I didn't hear you, baby. But it's really cool because now you can really see where the hill is right there. You know? Oh, let's check it out. You can okay. see it. Yeah, now you can see the hill. So the hill, guys, starts right there where the leaves start to turn brown on the other side of the grass right there. And then as you get into the green again, it starts to, to slope up. And and our property does go of up that way, actually, into there pretty good. This would be a nice little pullover spot. If so we're already on the other side of the curve. We come in, come on around, do a little turn. 
What'd you say? Look at Jacob. I see you up there. Be careful. So let me give you a secret, son. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You ready? That tree that you're on is called, do you know what it's called? It's called, look at me. It's called a cedar tree. And cedar trees do not have very strong branches. I want you to know that. So they're not good climbing trees, okay? They break a lot. So why don't you hop on down from there? Ryder. Ryder didn't like that. Ryder. Thanks for helping watching them, buddy. Hmm, thanks. There you go. So, let me just back up a little bit to recap for you. Serenity has already walked to the to the front. So we're gonna come right in between these two giant pine trees. You can see the white marks on them. And as soon as we bust through here. This cedar is going down. That cedar is going down. Um, that other big pine right there is going to stay. These little trees right here are going to come down. Probably this cedar also. All these little cedars right here on the edge of the road are going to come down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, Serenity? Making it rain. Making it rain. <laughs> so it has been raining most of the day today. Most of the morning it rained. Uh, yesterday, once we got back from town, we didn't get to do too much afterwards either because it started raining. We, um, we did plan to come here and get right back to it, but because of the rain, well, you know what they say, guys. You're going to have to listen to what Mother Nature says sometimes. Let's continue the journey. Y'all walked it all? What'd you think of it? Not bad. Not bad? So obviously all these little sprigs are going to come up. And I believe we're going to be taking this down too. Because it is... Let me back up a little bit and evaluate it. Oh yeah. For sure. This oak tree is going to stay. That oak tree is going to go. Probably going to go. Most of these cedars are going to come down. The cedars can't take any weight once snow or heavy winds and rain gets it. The cedars fall down anyway. Lead the way, Ryder. Lead the way. Lissa in her element. Taking some, uh, some awesome photos that you guys like. Oh, behind the scenes footage, guys. Ready? Yeah. Jump One, three, two, three, jump. <laughs> so, moving along, moving along. Hmm. As much as I don't want to. I don't know. We're going to discuss leaving that cedar because that's a really nice one. It's really big. It's probably one of the bigger ones out here that I've seen. I know the cedars don't hold a lot of weight, though. I don't know. We'll figure it out. That is a pretty wide spot in between those trees. All right. We felt like this was a good stopping point. Woo! Whoa! My Drifter down <laughs> the mud. <laughs> What'd you say, baby? We haven't even started yet. I know, We're and I'm already tripping. And I'm already slipping and tripping. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Present from last night. The rain. You can see where I stepped and slipped in. I'm not going down yet, though, guys. I'm not going down yet. But this was a little quick walkthrough to the back. This is, I would say, three quarters of the way uh, to the back of the property. We're going to go ahead and trim some of this stuff up, get it out of the way. And then I, at least myself, I don't know who else is going to go with me. Maybe somebody. 
but I'm going to be walking the property again. Uh, and I'm going to walk it with the uh, hunting app I was telling you guys about to get another. I accidentally erased my uh, <laughs> my perimeter. So I'm going to walk the hunting app again, draw it up on the map, and clock out exactly how long the driveway is. And it's going to give us an idea of where to put the house and where we want to start building. One step at a time, guys. But now, it's time for step two. It is time for your weapons of choice. Serenity, you're gonna take the little loppers. That's a good tool. That's a good tool for you to use. And now that you have your tool, stand over here by mommy. Uh, Jacob, you're gonna use these loppers. <laughs> Alan, you got these loppers. And mommy will start off with the machete. As for me, I'm gonna be grabbing the chainsaw and uh, I'm gonna get the bar and chain changed on the chainsaw. We're about to clear it up, guys. Are you guys ready to clear it up? Yes. I can't hear you. Are you ready to clear it up? Yeah! Let's do it. So the goal today is going to be not to put the bar and chain in the dirt. <laughs> That's a good goal. It's gonna loosen back up anyway. We'll have to readjust. Oil looks good. Check the gas. Gas looks fair. All right, let's do it, guys.
definitely coming along, guys. It is definitely coming along. As you can see, we have cleared out a little bit more to the right side of this tree, and we've taken down a little bit more undergrowth. We're gonna slowly work our way into it, cutting down those little green pokey vines that uh, grab a hold of you and don't wanna let you go. We're just gonna slowly move our way into it, and once we get to the end, we'll see what is left to do there. So now here's something pretty cool. This is Lissa's chainsaw. It's a 12 inch Ryobi electric chainsaw. Uh, it's a 40 volt and uh, it was on the charger earlier. That's why we didn't have it out yet. It's uh, it's been sitting for a while. Yeah. But it's nice and light. There's a bunch of oil all over it. It needs to be cleaned up a little. Probably from being packed away and stuff. Yeah, haven't we, used it. Yeah, we haven't used it since uh, clearing the property in Florida. Yep. So probably December or so is the last time it was used. Chain needs to be tightened up a little bit. Here we go. Uh, but I, oh, here's the lid. I'm pretty sure the blade needs to be sharpened a bit. So this is pretty pretty simple though. It has a trigger lock on it. Unless the buttons pull down, you can pull the button down, hit the trigger. So it's good for me. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see it in action. Okay, baby, show them what you got. Get ready. <laughs> okay, I see you. Easy. There you go. Now we just gotta pull them down. Here you go. Watch yourself. Oh, the the vines got them. Mm. 
it's the vines that are going up the tree actually. Yeah. You can, uh, if you want to go to the other side, you can cut that one. She's getting it in, guys. She's getting it in. Hey, make sure it's not at an angle. You know what I'm saying? Keep the saw straight. Here you go, look. Here you go, cut this vine right here, baby. I think you left this over there. Yep. Yeah, See where it comes up right there? That was cool. I always like to see Lissa work the chainsaw. She likes to work. I love it when she works. She makes me so proud. But I do want to see what this little guy will do. We're going to pretty much close it out for the day down here. We have to go and get ready for the live because we do go live every Friday, 6 p.m. Central Time. So check this out. One more little tree. And we're going to use the little guy. And we're using the Ryobi. The Ryobi's uh, chain is definitely super dull. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and just grab the gas-powered Husqvarna. Yeah, if Jacob don't kill himself bringing it to me. Thank you, though, bud. Thank you, son. We are doing our little morning routine since Uncle Come On has been gone down on his trip in Florida. Which he's been having a blast. Man, he's been having a great time. He's been sending us pictures and yeah. stuff and it's it's been awesome. Always, always awesome to be able to, you know, surprise visit with family and stuff like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Uh, but we come over here in the mornings and check on his homestead. Here, actually, we'll give you guys a little peek. We come over here to Come On Mountain. Oh, well, good morning, Ryder. You've been keeping everything up and under control? Of course you have. Of course. But yeah, we come over here in the mornings and we start the generator so that all the food in, in the freezer and the fridge and everything stays good. Yes, yeah, his, his plants. You hear the goats in the background. That is something also that we do every night. We come over here and turn the generator back on at night to get, you know, for the same things. And we also feed and water the goats. Let's check the goats out. Hi, guys. Hi. Look how big the goats have gotten. You guys have gotten so big. This guy is Chief. We got Icy. We got Chanel the Loud Mama. And I actually think I forgot his name. Hmm. I did, guys. I did. I forgot that goat's name. If anybody here keeps up with Come On Homesteading and Come On Keeping It Real, if you guys can remember this other goat's name, drop it down in the comments because... 
I cannot remember to save my life. <laughs> cannot remember. <laughs> I hear you, Ryder. I hear you. How's your morning been, buddy? Have you had a good morning? Yeah. Of course you have. You're Ryder. You're going to have good mornings every morning. Look at you, Ryder, sitting here by these awesome purple flowers. Yeah. Ryder, you picked a cool spot to hang out. <laughs> Turn the generator on. Get it running for a little while. Look at all these gas cans, guys. Holy smokes. So many gas cans. Lissa. Lissa. I need a little assistance, guys. I'm not able to hold the camera and put some gas in a generator at the same time. Because what we like to do is pour just a little bit of gas in a generator where the generator runs for an hour or two. And then, you know, just let it run out. And then come back later, crank it back up. Woo! <laughs> that one was leaking already. And with this being an inverter generator, it gets pretty good fuel mileage. Uh, fuel mileage. Throw just a little bit of gas in there. So I don't know if you want to back up a little bit. This is going to be kind of loud. All good to go, guys. Walk away. The rating here is better. Oh. We almost forgot. We wanted to take Eclipse over on a play date with our boys. Oh, yeah. Let's go let ahead. Off. Let's go grab Eclipse. And take her over to see Odin and Halo. She hasn't had a. She hasn't had much uh, playtime, you know, since Uncle David's been gone. We can actually, if you want to, just take the whole. Uh, here you go. Oh yeah, yeah, she will. Let's go, babies. Let's go. Say hi. Say hi, Eclipse. Eclipse girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spin her out. Sorry for the fast spin. She is going to go. She's going to go right over. Oh, good girl. You listened. You came back. She, She's definitely, definitely happy. Get a little, get a little interaction, huh, baby? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Like, are we gonna go play with the boys? Oh yeah, she knows. Boys? She knows, guys. <laughs> she knows what's fixing to happen. Yeah. She loves hanging out with our boys, and our doggies love hanging out with her too. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> she just crossed the. Sh she's gone. She's gone. She's gone. Check our guys out. Oh. Oh, hi guys. Hi guys. I got. Oh look, I actually for uh, I forgot to turn the button back on. So it's already off. Back up, boys. Come on. Come on. Hey. 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 <laughs> hey. Go. Go. No! Oh, there goes the water bowl. Good thing the fence is turned off. <laughs> Look at Eclipse. <laughs> oh, she loves her friends. She loves her friends. All right. Well, I need to refill the water bowl. That's something that needs to be done. Don't turn that back on yet. Meanwhile, Odin and Eclipse are having a blast. Halo's like, I want to have fun, guys. I want to have fun. Can you grab that, baby? Thank you, thank you. I wonder... Oh, where's the ball? I wonder if they'll chase the ball. Hey, Halo. Halo. Want to chase the ball? He's like, I want to chase this girl, Dad. I want to chase the girl. Halo. Halo. The ball? Go get the ball. Yeah, Halo loves the ball. Halo loves chasing the ball. Come on. Bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah. Where's the ball, Halo? Where's the ball? 
You gotta give me the ball back. You gotta give me the ball back, silly boy. If you want me to, if you want me to throw it again, Halo, you gotta give it back. He's like, but it's mine. It's mine, Dad. Okay, you ready? Ready? Halo, come on. Here. He's like, I can't. I can't. Come on, right here. To me. Halo, sit. Halo, sit. See how good you can do it. Sit. Sit. Good boy, Halo. Good boy. Go get the ball. Go get the ball. Mommy, Lisa brought back some water for us. Some high quality H2O. Drink water right here. You guys spilled it. You guys spilled it. Yeah. After all that running around, I'd want some water too, right? Yeah. Ryder. He's like, I'm trying to get all the loving I can get. My dad's been gone. He came in front of me and laid down just like that. <laughs> <laughs> the yard's okay. drying up nicely. And look at the grass we got sprouting, guys. Uncle David came and put a bunch of grass seed down over here. Let me get something out of the house too. Yeah. Plenty of grass, guys. Plenty of grass. Look at old Lyft sitting over there. Looking regal. Let me show you what's not looking regal, guys. My kayaks. That's something we're going to address here shortly. Um, there's so much going on and so much has to be done. But first, we got to get down to the landing. And after we get there... We got to build some racks for these kayaks, something to get them up off the ground, keep the water out of them. In Florida, we had built something just off the side of our little lean-to, and uh, we just threw some two-by-fours up there, and we just flipped the kayaks upside down, kept all the water and everything out of it. You ready, my love? Beautiful guys. So beautiful. 